history of the party, in the history of our leaders, uh, show that uh, we have come up with responsible uh, policies. Uh, we have made uh, constructive suggestions. Uh, and, and I'm very sad to say that uh, in this parliament, as the leader of the National Federation Party, I have proposed uh, many um, uh, policies or many uh, attempts to uh, engage uh, in, in dialogue and discussion with the government. I mean, the Prime Minister of this country uh, uh, goes out of the country in COP23, uh, is COP president. Uh, we support that. We believe that you know, uh, it's important for Fiji to uh, play that role. And the Prime Minister talks about dialogue, uh, Talanoa, uh, but we haven't seen uh, that from the Prime Minister and his government uh, in Fiji. You know, very early I had called on uh, the Prime Minister and the Fiji First Government to think about a government of national unity. In fact, I, I followed that up in Parliament as well. Uh, we called for a joint parliamentary committee on sugar. Uh, I've, I've called for that many times. I called for a joint uh, celebration uh, for the end of the uh, 100 years marking the end of the indentured system. Uh, I actually gave an end of week statement in Parliament asking the government to uh, uh, work with the opposition so that we can all collectively have a national celebration. That was re all rejected. So this is a government who doesn't believe in dialogue, who doesn't believe in Talanoa, who doesn't believe in resolving issues together with the opposition. So when we talk about genuine democracy, uh, we, we should be talking about these fundamental principles of dialogue and discussion. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, the government versus the opposition all the time. Uh, you know, even uh, some of the work that we are supposed to do within parliamentary committees uh, are not uh, producing those bipartisan results as they should. So. Uh, let me uh, once again say that uh, the NFP, in preparation for the election in 2018, uh, will continue to announce uh, policies, uh, things that we will do when, if we are in government, progressively, so that our people have time to understand and digest and know the meaning of those policies and how those policies are going to be implemented. Not uh, coming up with a manifesto uh, in the last week of, of the election mm -hmm. and offering um, uh, uh, pie in the sky you know, promises uh, as has been used uh, in Parliament. In fact, what we are proposing are not pie in the sky proposals. In fact, they are genuine proposals, proposals that we've worked on carefully and proposals that we believe can be implemented uh, when we are in government. So thank you. Mm -hmm.